welcome to Art of Superwoman. Thank you for being in South Africa and thank you hey, for joining me. Hello. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> so first question, okay. um, before we get into the thick of things, if you had to have a superpower, what would it be? I'm going to start with Melissa on this one. Uh, I hate bad drivers. <laughs> You're so I, oh, I wish I wish I could freeze like a car that's broken a rule and take it like two kilometers back just to punish them. Because I, I always it. think about that every time. Yeah, so if I could, yeah, that's what I would want to be able I to do that. Yeah. I love that. That's a good one. Have you seen the taxi drivers in South Africa? <sighs> no, it comes it's in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, Kenya the same. <laughs> it's just everywhere. Mm, yeah. I would say uh, being black, but we already have that power, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but no, uh, I would say to teleport. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm always needed in one place or another, and if mm. I'm able to just bounce and avoid traffic, yes. then I get so much more done. But yeah. Can you imagine how, how many dizzy spells the men in this country would have, or in this continent would have, with African women teleporting? <laughs> That would be amazing, right? <laughs> I love that. Oh, nice. <laughs> African woman teleporting. <laughs> no, we'll be right no, back. no. <laughs> So it's 2022 and I mean we still are dealt with a lot of issues of inequality um, across the board, mm -hmm. in industries, in spaces. Mm -hmm. If there was anything you would change about or, or one significant change you would make around inequality um, when it comes to the men and women dynamic um, across the board, what would it be? What would be that one change you would make? I feel like just starting from the fact that we acknowledge it and we all have that same accord of, you know what, something's not right, let's mm -hmm. make sure that we change it. Unfortunately, some people don't think that there's anything wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think if we all come on a, on one accord where, you know what, something is not right, we need to change it, then I feel that we'll have a, a better chance at making it, yeah. making it right. Mm -hmm. I would say something kind of similar. I think we need to have very honest and open conversations. Mm -hmm. We need to provide spaces where both men and women can be honest. I feel like mm -hmm. we're getting to a place where men cannot be honest about things. And if they're not honest about their opinions, then we don't know which opinions mm -hmm. we need to change or not. Mm -hmm. right. So we need to have like a free space to have yeah. honest conversations. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, you're young moms. Yes. Yes. And moms to little young people. Yeah. What is the best thing about being a mom? I feel like you just feel like a superhero. And once once you become a mom, you're just like, ah, me, me, me. I. Yeah. I can do this. <laughs> My body here created a person. Hello. Ah. Yeah, I, it's the most empowering thing mm -hmm. ever. And it gives you such drive and direction in your life. And so it's like your life accelerates Absolutely. once you have a child. Yeah, Absolutely. that's been my experience at least. Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback off of that. It's, yeah. it's the most unbelievable, amazing, gratifying yeah. feeling mm. to be able to say, oh, I'm this and I'm that. And most of all, I'm a mother. And it was beautiful actually having a conversation with all of the actresses yeah. and realizing that, oh my God, I'm not alone. Yeah. We're all following our dreams. And we're all mothers, yeah. and it's a beautiful thing. Yes. It's not just, oh, you're a mom, so you know you can put off everything that you have in mm -hmm. mind. No, and number one, I'm a mom, yeah. and I'm an actor, and I do all the things, you know. So it, it, it's it's very empowering. It's beautiful watching them grow. I know yours Ooh. is one, mine yeah. is six, <laughs> yeah, and just have it's it's magic yeah i feel like it's magic and i'm just watching her grow each day and her personality coming out and her being in her own like mommy i want to do this and i'm like okay that's what you want to do then let's go with that you know it's 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 truly a beautiful thing and it and it evolves each day yeah it's it's magic i feel mm -hmm. yeah yeah it is it is yeah. i love that <laughs> Moms talk about being mothers. I know. It's so like, adorable. Really? <laughs> it is so adorable. Yeah. It is so beautiful. Yeah. If you would guess one thing that people appreciate most about you, what would it be? I'm gonna start with you, Melissa. I've been told I'm very kind. Um, so yeah, yeah. They they say I have a good heart. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to hurt people's feelings or make people uncomfortable. Like I'm very conscious of that. Mm, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's probably what people would say. Like a character on Country Queen? Yeah, <laughs> and I ask a million questions. That's something yeah. that everyone who knows me will know. Like, I ask a million in one question. That's good. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. You know, it's always different because I guess what I put out on social media or what people perceive me as on social media is, you know, prim and proper and like, but when they meet me, <laughs> how are you? they're like, oh my God, you're so jovial and energetic yeah. and so happy all the time. And so I'm just in a point in my life where I just, I just love positive vibes mm. and I cannot function around negativity and uh, 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 uh. Mm. no, let's all be happy. Let's live in the moment. Let's be appreciative of what we have. And yes, there's highs and lows, but yes. you know, you got to live it up and that's just where I'm at right now just yeah living it up so a happy-go-lucky energetic kind of person is that's exactly what I'd say for her yeah. <laughs> she's no honestly she's such a vibe yeah, she's just a vibe I just yeah. I just love life and mm -hmm. you know just going through what I've gone through mm -hmm. in the past couple of years it's like there's no time to be in that negative mm -hmm. realm let's mm -hmm. be positive and let's live life to the fullest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I want to talk about like the, the past couple of years. I mean, you have played so many various characters, and <laughs> your portfolio of acting mm. is so far and <laughs> wide and different. Yes. How do you step in and out of those characters, and then uh. still be mom? Yeah, still yeah. Still be girlfriend. Oh no. Still be like. Well, no, no, no girlfriend. All of it. No, no, no. I, as in like girlfriend, as in like friend, like your girlfriends. Oh, like, friends. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm nobody's girl. <laughs> well, she's single. But it's okay. She's single. <laughs> I am single, but I am not looking right now, so <laughs> there is that. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think it starts with the passion. And when you're passionate about what you do, um, I feel that you'll find the character. You do the work and you find the character. And I've been blessed to have been, um, you know, been able to play different characters, different walks of life. And my number one thing is I want... I myself and I, as well as the audience, I want them to be able to connect mm -hmm. with with whoever I'm playing because it is a human story, maybe fictional, but I'm mm -hmm. sure somebody is going through it somewhere. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that's, that's, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful <laughs> for that. Mm -hmm. And Melissa, some of the characters that you choose to play tend to have a lot of depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, you know, how do you select the characters that you play and also kind of step into their world and out? Is it a lived experience at times as well? Well, how I choose them, those are just the characters that I like. Mm -hmm. I like I always say I like Viola Davis kind of characters, like oh, very okay. raw queen. and layered. Mm -hmm. Like that's like that's what challenges me, so that's what I like. Mm -hmm. In terms of how I get that, I I think generally I try and protect myself by not using my lived experiences, but the way I always equate it is I always say I may not have experienced what my characters experienced, but I felt that emotion before. Mm -hmm. And emotions are universal. So yeah. I'll be like, okay, I haven't felt that heartbreak, but I know what heartbreak feels mm -hmm. like. Yeah. So so I can use that. So that's usually how I go from it, like mm -hmm. using emotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you would star in a biopic, oh, who would you be? <laughs> <laughs> well, one dream role that I have is Nefertiti, Ooh. and I I would adore having the opportunity to play her, and, I, and it's been done um, plenty times, but that's just one dream of mine, so Ooh. I guess she's a real person, so I guess that would be the biopic. Love it, yeah. love it. Harriet Tubman, mm -hmm. or like Wangari Maathai in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, someone who who changed yeah. the fabric of society. Like I, yeah, because I feel like that would be such a layered role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Mm. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? <laughs> <laughs> I can say it, and I did it. Yes, and I did it for a film. And I'm like, I can never do this. And before my mom passed, I actually yeah. I didn't tell her, and I know she would <laughs> never allow me to do it. But for a film, Rattlesnake, I. We flew out of a plane. Yeah. You jumped out. You jumped, jumped out. As in like parachuting out. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. skydived. Oh hell. No. Yeah, you see? <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just like I, as I was come as I was falling out of the plane, I'm like, wow, this is adventurous and this is gonna give meat and, and, and a lot to my character. But then I'm like, 
Oh, you're Azariah's mom. That's what I was about to say. Did <laughs> um, you have a child? Yes, this was what, two years ago? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I'm Azariah's mom. Also, what are you doing? But oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> this is awesome. But oh my god, okay, let's laugh. Sing. So yeah, a lot of emotions, but that has to be the craziest thing that I've done. Sure. Yeah. I can't even think of something. I am such a. Safety first, follow the rules. <laughs> I like my life. I want to say like, please. So like, I don't, I don't really do crazy things that much. Come on, girl. There's no, you had I, a baby. I want to. That's crazy. That is crazy. What's That's that? A, had to have a baby. Ooh, that is crazy. That's crazy. It's yeah. a life changing experience. So yeah, absolutely. That's the, that's the most life changing experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I want to skydive. But yeah. I want to get to the point where I'm like, if I die, it's okay because I've lived. It's not. Life. That's not your portion. You won't. You won't. Yeah, no. Do that. <laughs> you're gonna be able to live and say, Wow, I did that. Amen. I'm Amen. all about bucket lists, and I made yes. to check that one off. So. So you you you're the crazy adventures, and then you are kind of the. Caution. Yes. Err on the side of caution, yeah. please. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be as, as cautious yeah. as possible because I have somebody that calls me mommy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, adventure, 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 yes, adventure. Adventure is tempting, man. <laughs> YOLO. I'm one of it. So you know what we're going to do at the safari. Okay, yeah, that. Yeah! Well, that seems, that seems <laughs> safe. A, bit a little safe. bit. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah we're very really fun. It's gonna be great. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Yeah. What's the one personal question you would not answer? <laughs> you go first. What's the one personal question I would not answer? There are definitely questions about my child I wouldn't answer. Because I'm very protective. Mm -hmm. I think questions that would make my family look bad, I wouldn't answer. I'm very protective of my family. So. Yeah, questions that would touch on any of their vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Hmm. What about you? That's a very um, interesting question. Yes, a very yeah. interesting question. I, I feel like I'm very open. But yeah, if it comes, it hasn't come yet. If there's a question, I don't feel like answering it. How about that? <laughs> so yeah, I haven't gotten that yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I feel like I'm, I'm very open. And um, if somebody... It has their best interest in me, mm. then I know that they're not gonna come and try and hurt me or yes. the ones that I love and everything. So, but if that comes across, then I'm like, I'm sorry, but I decline to answer your question. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I haven't had that yet. So, we're stepping into Women's Month um, this August in mm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. We have Women's Month. Nice. What's the one thing you absolutely love about being a woman? How powerful we are. How, we're we're a powerful being and, and no hate to the men in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're we're powerful to be able to withstand, to accomplish, to dream and do mm. is powerful. So I love being a woman and I love having that power of being a woman. Yeah, and we're so layered. Yeah. We're so soft yet so strong mm -hmm. and so hard and so adventurous mm -hmm. yet so safe. Like yep. we're just everything to a fullest extent That's right. together. That's right. And it's yeah, it's it's magical. Yeah. Yes. And I love how I'm like watching the dynamic between the two of you. So yeah. different. I, I love that. Like, yeah, like, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like ah, we, I love even, Melissa. She even when we're different, mm -hmm. we still vibrate. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. It's like yes. it's absolutely yeah. it's beautiful. Women are just Everything. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Absolutely. Mm. So I'm gonna do some quick fire questions. Okay. okay. You're gonna give me one word answers, right? Okay. okay. I decline. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the question. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to overthink it. Okay. okay. Shoes or bags? Shoes. Ha! Hot or cold weather? Ha! Cold. Ha! Cold. Ha! Ha! Cold. Ha! Cold. 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 Hey! Yeah. Cold. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Sweet. Heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Heels. Afrobeat or Amapian? Afrobeat! <laughs> but we love Amapian. Film or theater? Theater. Theater for me. Theater. Yeah. Introvert or extrovert? Introvert. Extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Coffee or tea? Tea. Mm. Spirits or wine? Wine. See, I don't drink. Oh. Okay, so okay. none of the above. None of the above. 
Yeah. <laughs> Night owl or early bird? Night early owl. bird. Predictability or excitement? Predictability. <laughs> Live on the edge! <laughs> Painful truth or comforting lie? Painful truth. Giving or receiving? <laughs> Living, I want the comfort. Living <laughs> painful truth. Yeah. Painful truth. And the last question. What is your biggest social media peeve? Oh, this is bad. This is bad to say. But people who DM and they're like, I want to be an actor, help me. And I'm just like, that's not the way it works. <laughs> I'm not a casting director. Like, yeah, when I get that a lot and they're just they're very expectant mm -hmm. that I'm yeah. gonna start their career. It's like Research how to, to yeah, do I that. To, yeah, mm -hmm. be more specific with your with that request. Yeah. Ugh, those comments, those automatic stupid. Um, if you want to lose weight, duh, 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 if you want those stupid yes. comments that come up <laughs> on your that are nonsense. Yeah. Nonsense comments. That's automatic. Yeah. <laughs> and the DM of yeah. hey. Nothing yeah, but yeah. hi. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll stay there like yeah. that. Don't let what it stress you. Want, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. And I mean, you know, we we also live in a in a in an environment where a lot of people don't know how to ask for help, right? Yeah. So like when they DM, I want to be an actress, and people don't exactly know what to have to say yeah. or the language to have. What would you advise people? To, how like how should they go about it? Do your Google. research. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Do your research because if I can tell you've already done something and you're asking me to help you with the next step, mm -hmm. I'm more willing. But if I can tell you haven't you haven't given anything yet, mm -hmm. you haven't done anything yet, it's like, well, I'm not gonna do it for you. I'm mm -hmm. like, I got I'm a doing kid. It. I got a kid. I got a raise. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, yeah. So do come as far as you can come and then ask for help because people will be more willing to help. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Is that it? Oh, that was fun. Thank you, that was thank fun. you, thank you. Thank you. And well done on thank Country you. Queen. Thank well you, done thank you. on Man of God. Thank you. Thank you so much for the beautiful productions and for giving your souls to the work that you do. Yes. Amen to that. More to come. More to yes. come. Yes. Yes.